Hello Capricorn and welcome to my channel and this is your year ahead reading for 2023. Now before we start with the reading Capricorn I want to quickly show you these books. They're available on Amazon and I'll put a link in the description below. Dad notebook, plain pages with little emojis at the bottom of each page. Obviously we're nearing Christmas, that's a great Christmas present. The Spirit Within, me and my sister co-wrote this. It's a beginner's book on mediumship and it tells you, you know what we are, how we do what we do. So if you're interested in this sort of thing, it's a great beginner's book. My sister also has a channel, Mind's Eye and Inspiration. She really also releases monthly videos and I'll put a link in the description below. Hello Capricorn and I was a good couple of minutes into your reading when I realised it had stopped recording. So I was just showing you the book when it stopped recording. It's available on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below for all the books. Okay, let's get on with your reading. So I've put the King and Queen of Pentacles aside because you are an earth sign. And this is the card that crosses them, the King of Wands. So what I was saying to you is next year for 2023 Capricorn, your next year could have dealings with the King of Wands. Now one sign's a fire sign, that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So it could be you've got that person coming into your life. Or it could be that um, you're sort of dealing with somebody who has that energy, which they're a good leader, they're a good person to be around, they can be trusted, they're quite strict, they have people sort of follow them, they've got that magnetic sort of approach to them. So next year there's somebody in your life who could either be helping you, but there's a good person to have around, okay? Now... We've got a card out here for every month, so January, February, March, April, May, June. And we did start with the second half of the year, but we'll go back again because obviously we then realised it wasn't recording. So January, that Knight of Cups. We said that is an offer coming, but the Knight of Cups could be somebody that you could argue with. So you've got something coming in January you need to sort out. Cups to do with emotion so it could be something to do with the home it could be something to do with family so it could be there's something to sort out could be something coming to you because again that offer so something coming your way but just be careful how you sort of handle and deal with this person February the three of pentacles so again money there so it looks like things have been sorted by the time February gets here and threes are advancement so you're taking that next step forward with whatever has happened in January now we pulled a card out to cross those two there and it's the seven of swords that's about cutting your losses walking away you can see this person's deciding to leave they're deciding to go so whatever you're sorting out in January you could be cutting losses and going for some of you you could be leaving a job for some of you you could be ending something else some sort of contract something linked to money March, we've got new starts for you, new beginnings. Look at that ace there. So when these new cards come out, it's definite new beginnings. Hands coming out, there's something being handed to you. Again, like we said, this could be work for some of you. You could be going into self-employment. For others, it could be something else. Now I'm Capricorn and I know I have a grandchild due in March. So for me, my new thing coming my way, being handed to me, that new beginning for me, I can resonate in that way. April, you need a bit of strength. You're worn out, Capricorn. Already it's been a quite a busy month. So April, we do feel that we need a little bit of strength. Oops, sorry, I'm knocking it. It's not going too well here, is it, so far? Video's cut out recording and I'm knocking it all over. So March, April. We've got lots going on. Again, the Eight of Wands, another card to do with strength, okay? And when eights come out, you've got, I know strength isn't necessarily eight, but the Eight of Wands um, does, it, it is a card to do with sort of strength. And eights can be about receiving support from deceased loved ones, something coming to an end. So there seems to be some sort of changes. Now we say when new things start, you know, things come to an end, but we've got you there being tired, needing all your energy, pulling on your strength. So April for you, you know, you could be helping people. You could just be overworking, but April seems a busy month where you're going to be doing lots, where you're going to be using lots of energy and you just need a bit of strength. May. 
we've got the King of Cups. So again, we're dealing with another person. The King of Cups, again, um, emotions coming into play here. And the King of Cups, they are somebody who can be linked to sort of the church. They can be somebody, again, you wouldn't want to be sort of arguing with this person. So is this a similar person in the middle of the year that you were dealt with in January? But June, you're making a decision. So is this King of Cups in May creating some sort of decision for you in June? Okay. So we do have you needing strength in April. We do have you dealings with somebody in May. It could be somebody saying to you, look, you need to calm down. You need to relax. You need to um, rest. You need to stop overworking. And then June, you are making a decision. So when July gets here, you're feeling like you need to rest. You're feeling like you need a little bit of a stability. Some of you could be feeling a little bit bored. And that's why you want to make the change that came up in June. And then all of a sudden, August, something seems to happen quick. We've got that Knight of Swords. Something coming in there real quick for you. And September, the Four of Wands, again, another card indicating stability, indicating settling down. So it seems to be that the first half of the year is quite busy for you. You've got something to sort out in January, February. March, you've got this new beginning. April, you're tiring yourself out. May, you've got somebody saying to you, look, this needs to rest, you need to change. June, you're definitely making a decision about changes. July... We're looking at stability. We're looking at settling down. We're looking at possibly, again, making a change. For some of you, yes, it's to do with stability, but for some of you, it's about needing a bit of insight, needing a little bit more. So wanting something else to come your way. And look at that card coming out there. August, something's rushing in quick. What have you manifested, Capricorn? You've been sitting there thinking, I could do with this, I could do with that, and then it comes in your way. But it's bringing you stability. So that stability you were thinking about in or in uh, July is definitely there for you in September. And it's quite often, I feel, to do with the home because look what two cards follow it, the Queen of Cups and the Two of Cups. So you're feeling a lot happier. October and November, look at you, the Queen of Cups, she's a good listener, she's a happy person, everything's settling down, and November, the Two of Cups, are you settling down, that's a coming together, could be engagement for some of you, could be a relationship, could be leaving something behind that doesn't serve you, because December, you end the year with that Ten of Wands, dropping some sort of burdens there, getting rid of something that, like we said, doesn't serve you. So you're making decisions July, August, you're suddenly rushing in and making these decisions. September, things start calming down and then it's all going your way. And emotionally, you're a lot, lot happier in October. November, you seem to be getting a closeness with someone. And in December, we've got that Ten of Wands. We've got a completion. We're ending the year real happy. We're ending the year satisfied. We're ending the year getting rid of anything in our lives we don't want. And again, look at that King of Cups. Again, it looks peacefulness, okay? It looks like um, we're settling down. We're calming down. We've, we've got our fingers in what we want. We're stirring that, that pot there. We're like, okay, this is what I want. Your ship is coming in there. So I really do feel that you've got a busy start to the year next year, and then it gets sort of serious from July, August, September. You start going for what you want. Do you end the year, Capricorn, sort of emotionally stable to where you want to be, getting what you want. Your emotions and your heart, you know, you're settled by the end of the year because we have a busy first half of the year and you do make those changes in the middle half of the year to say, right, now I'm having things my way and things start to go your way, Capricorn. So, wow, a lovely year next year. 
a lovely start to the year, sorting stuff out, offers coming, something new coming in, um, helping somebody, somebody helping you, making a decision and then things going your way. The second half of the year all seems to be about you Capricorn, having things your way, sorting it out, getting things stable to make you feel emotionally happy and settled. So that's 2023 for you. Don't forget the links in the description below for the books on my sister's channel, Minds Iron Inspiration. Sorry for the video stopping halfway through your reading there, Capricorn. Well, actually, it was near the beginning of your reading. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.